So the quick sampler in Logic 10.5, when you load a sample in, you can load it in in optimized or original. Uh, let's look at the difference between that because there's, uh, I think that um, this needs to be fixed in an update actually. Okay, so um, this is what I found from my experimenting anyway. So look, what I've got is I've got two um, instrument tracks, each with a quick sampler on. One is labeled optimized and one is labeled original, so we know which is which. And each of them has got a MIDI region on two bars long with a C3 note in. C3 and this one C3, right? Okay, let's load some samples and look at this difference between optimized and original. Um, I've got, let's start with a snare sample, right? No, actually, let's not. Let's start with a drum break. Here's a drum break. Load it in optimized, boom. And the same drum break, CBO2, load it in original. Right, a drum break. It's got no pitch information, so the optimized and original versions, loads, both put it on the root key of C3. Right. If I put my mouse over the sample end point, the sample end of this one is 1.919. Um, and this one is 1.919. So what's the difference? Well, when you load in a drum loop optimized, it puts a cycle loop range around the entire length of the sample. Original, it doesn't. On original, you would need to go in and then activate a forward loop yourself, and then it will put it around the whole loop the same. But you've got to make that manual step of doing that. Switch either on with flex and follow tempo because it's a drum loop. And um, now the ending is showing um, sample end 514, this one 514. Right. Okay, so that's the difference with a drum loop. Optimized just puts a loop around it from the get go, ready to go. Right, very occasionally it might trim a little bit off the start or the end, but we'll get to that. Um, the only other difference is there will be a volume difference. Here's the mixer, there's the two channels, they're both triggering at C3. Look at the difference in volume. The original is much louder, the original is peaking at minus 5.6. And the optimized one is peaking at minus 14, turned down quite a lot. Like sort of 8 dB or something, right? Okay, so that's the difference. With a drum loop, a optimized puts a cycle loop around it from the get go. Original doesn't. And optimized, in the case of this, it's turned it down a bit. Sometimes it will turn it up, right? Okay. But neither of these, uh, th this loop doesn't have any pitch information, so optimized and original puts it on the root key of C3. Right? Okay, let's try a different type of break. Here I've got a break. This is uh, from a, a, an online grime and hip hop, another loop uh, website. If this is a perfectly trimmed loop, but it's not a drum loop, right? It's probably in the key of C3. Bring it in, optimized, boom. Bring the same loop in, original, boom, now what's the difference? Well, in this case, even though this is a perfectly trimmed loop, the optimized one hasn't automatically put a loop cycle around the whole thing, all right? Uh, but both have activated flex and follow tempo. Let's look at the sample end for this. Um, and it says, or rather the sample length, it says it's 141142, and this one, 141144, which means the optimized one has randomly trimmed off some bit of the sample. This will happen. This is what I found. This will happen. It hasn't done it at the start, look, so it must have done it at the end. There's probably a tiny sliver at the end it's trimmed off. Yeah, look. A minuscule little sliver at the end has been trimmed off the optimized version. Why it didn't put it here, 
on the zero crossing point I don't know but anyway so randomly you'll find this optimize will sometimes randomly trim a little bit off the start or a little bit off the end for no apparent reason what it chooses to trim off doesn't really make any sense okay sometimes you'll load in a a, a, a non drum loop that is perfectly trimmed and optimized will put a loop on it from the get-go but from the absolute start to the absolute end the same as it does with drum loops sometimes it will do that right okay um the pitch of this um sample is it's in the key of c3 so the optimized version has put it on c3 and the unoptimized original version has put it on c3 as the root key the only other thing is the volume let's look at the volume difference between them both here we go there's their channels and now the optimized has been made a little bit louder original peaking at minus 16.9 the optimized peaking at minus 14. so you will see this little change in volume with optimized it'll make it it'll usually make the sample a little bit louder or a little bit quieter okay that's that the real weirdness comes when we start loading in one shots. Here is some snare samples. <laughs> this does get weird. I load in a one shot drum sample, in this case a snare. Optimized, boom. Original, boom. <laughs> now, um, let's see first, it's got no pitch information, so optimized and original has put it on the root key of C3. Flex and follow tempo has been switched on. And let's look at the length. Um, the optimized version, put my mouse over the end sample marker. Sample length 0153. This one, 0153. So in this time, optimizers choose not tr to trim a little bit off the front or the back. Sometimes it will, right? Okay. Next thing, put on the loop on the optimized one now this is the weird thing it attempts to put a, a sustain loop in there <laughs> but looping on the original one it just puts the loop from the very start to the very end and this is I'm saying where I think Apple have got they've coded it wrong when you load in a one-shot drum sample and you activate looping it attempts to put in a sustain loop which it should do with a pitched one-shot sample right but that's what happens right but now if I load in a pitched one shot sample uh, which I've got actually here on the track here's a pitched synth note it's at the pitch of C3 C sharp 3 sorry actually let's not do it with that let's do it with the this grand piano note here's a grand piano note right at C3. Drag it in. Optimized. Drag it in. Original. <laughs> now, now I've loaded in a pitched one-shot sample. When I loaded in a pitched drum sample, one-shot drum sample, activating loop on the optimized version, it set up a sustain loop along the length of that one-shot drum sample with no pitch information. But I do the same thing with the pitched one-shot sound. And it just puts a loop round from start to end. It doesn't attempt to put a sustain loop in like it did with the unpitched one-shot drum sample. On the unoptimized version, the original version, it does the same thing. puts the loop round the whole length. So that's the thing I think Apple have messed up. When you load in a one-shot drum sample and activate looping on the optimized version it will attempt to put in a sustain loop somewhere in the middle of that one shot drum sample do the same thing with a pitched one shot sample and it optimized doesn't try to find a sustain loop and set that on it instead it just puts the loop from the very very start to the very very end that's completely wrong okay so does that anyway look now we've got these two piano notes in um Let's look at the volume difference just to see, because you'll see there's a difference. There they are, there's the channels. Let's make sure nothing else is playing. Open these two up. Come on. There's nothing else playing. Yep, mute that. Here we go. Here's the two samples playing back. 
and the optimized version is slightly louder. It's been brought up by just one and a half or two. Uh, minus 18.6, minus 16.4, nearly or around 2 dB louder. So again, you will always see this difference in volume, subtle difference usually between the um, uh, optimized and original. All right, so in this case, the optimized one has been made slightly louder, right? Okay, one last thing to show the difference. Here I have got, now we will use this synth note. Here I've got a synth note. Oh, by the way, that piano sample I loaded in was pitched, that one shot piano note was pitched at C3. So the originals put it on the root key of C3 and the optimized has put it on the key of C3. But optimized has detected that it's slightly sharp. Plus nine. Okay, you can always turn that down, but it basically it's a C3 sample on the right key C3 in either. So if I play it back from the keyboard, it will play the correct pitch for the correct key. But now look at this. Here is a synth note at C sharp three. Bring that in optimized and bring that in original and now we see a difference in the pitch of the root key. This sample I've dragged into both of the quick samplers is pitched at C sharp three. The optimized version detects the pitch is C sharp three. Therefore, if I play this quick sampler at C sharp three, it will play back the note at the correct pitch. If I then go down a semitone and play at C3, it will play it down a semitone correctly at C3. This one, loaded in in original, hasn't detected the pitch at C sharp three, so it's put it on the root key of C3. Meaning if I play back C3, this sample is playing back at C sharp three. So if I play this version up and down the keyboard, I'm always playing notes a semitone flat because when I press C3, the note is actually playing C sharp three. If I press C sharp three, the note's actually playing D3, etc. This one, if I play C3, it will play at C3. So it's, it's detected, it, you know, it's got the pitch right. And that's really the only other difference. And again, looking at the volume difference between them, they're being triggered by two notes here, but this time I need to adjust one of the notes. Um, the optimized version, they're both at C3, the notes in here, so the optimized version at C3 will play this note back at C3 because it's it knows it's actually pitched at C sharp three, so it's put the root key at C sharp three, so a, three, a C3 note will, will play a semitone down at C3. This one's not right, so its note to trigger it back at C3 needs to come down a semitone. Right, now they'll both play at C3. Now let's look at the volume difference. Here we go. You'll see a volume difference again. You will. Here we go. There's the two channels there. And again, yeah, the original version is la um, less loud. Minus 27.5 versus minus 20.9 for the optimized version. So the optimized version has been made a little bit louder. Okay, so there you go. That's that's the difference. Okay, and I th I'm saying I think it's broken. So in summary, this is the score. When you load loops into Quick Sampler, whether it's a drum loop with no pitch information or some type of hip hop grime type backing loop taken from a vinyl or something that's been perfectly trimmed to cycle around at one bar, two bars or four bars or whatever. You load any type of loop into Quick Sampler, optimized will put a cycle range around that loop from start to finish from the get go. Original won't, right? If you load in a one shot sample, Optimize will attempt to put a sustain loop around it, but won't attempt to put a sustain loop around a pitched one shot sample. I think that is coded back to front because clearly it should be doing it the other way around. If you load in a pitched one shot in optimized, quick sampler should be attempting when you switch on loop to put in a sustain loop somewhere in the middle. But it only does it on one shot drums. 
sounds so with no pitch so i think apple have got the coding back to front for that and it's attempting to put a sustain loop on unpitched one shots when it should be attempting to put the sustain loop on pitched one shots okay uh, there'll be slight differences in volume the optimized version will be turned up a little bit or down a little bit but it fails to delete silence that just doesn't work it doesn't get rid of silence from a sample. That doesn't work at all. And then also, sometimes Optimize will just randomly choose to trim off a little bit of the start or the end of the sample. And there's no sort of logical rhyme or reason to it, but it does that. Okay. Um, and the only other difference between Optimized and Original is optimized detects the pitch and puts the root key correct for the pitch so if you then begin playing it a sample up and down the keyboard the keys you hit will trigger back the sound at the right pitch original won't detect the pitch and so it will put it on c3 therefore if this is d3 or whatever it was e3 it will you you play c3 and you're actually playing back the sample at its original pitch which is C sharp three, D three or whatever, incorrect, right? And that really is the only difference, right? So there you go. That is the difference between um, optimized and original. And I think, as I said, that there's a bug in it, or rather, the coding is not quite right, and that the coding has got it back to front, and that it's trying to put a sustain loop on an unpitched one shot sample instead of a pitched one shot sample, and that should be the other way round. That's what I think is the situation. But there you go, that's the difference. Um, I hope that's useful.